Hello and welcome. In my previous videos, I showed you how to import and export a guest virtual machine using portable OVA files. And they have many benefits and are fantastic. However, there is one clear disadvantage to portable OVA files. And they are, depending on the size of your guest virtual machine and on the capability of your physical host machine, i.e. if it's an old machine or the hard disk is quite slow or you have limited memory capacity or a slow CPU, the import and export process can take anything from 5, 10 minutes up to 40, 50 minutes. Wouldn't it be great if you could import in, in a, or install a guest virtual machine in less than one second? Well, it's possible and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. In order to learn how to add or install guest virtual machines very quickly, we have to understand what goes on under the hood, so to speak. So briefly, um, if we open up your Oracle VirtualBox Manager and select File from the menu bar and, and then select Preferences, the first option, General, you'll see your default machine folder. And this is important. So my default machine folder is D colon backslash VirtualBox VMSs. Okay, so I'm actually going to highlight that and press Control C to copy it. The tooltip tells us that it holds the path to default virtual machine folder. This folder is used, it's not explicitly specified when creating new virtual machines. This is important. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. Now, as you can see, I already have one virtual machine in place. So I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer on my physical host machine, and I'm going to navigate to that folder that I just copied, which is the default uh, installation folder for virtual machines. And as you can see, the virtual machine that I have in the Oracle VirtualBox Manager Ubuntu is located here. So I'm going to double click in this folder and inside you can actually see the two files that make up the virtual machine. The first file is the Ubuntu-disk001.vmdk and a .vmdk file is simply a virtual machine disk format file. And this basically is the actual file that contains the entire virtual guest machine. The ubuntu.vbox file is simply, it's very small, five kilobytes. It's simply an XML file that specifies the settings associated with the virtual machine, machine such as, for example, um, if you have a shared folder, what the shared folder name is and where it is located and so on. So let's suppose I want to take this virtual machine here and copy it to my USB key and then bring it to another computer and then import it. But instead of using the import, I want to quickly add it. So how do I do that? Well, what I can do is I'm going to, um, I can locate the folder as I just have to where the virtual machine is stored. Then I can go back to um, the virtual box and then simply close down the machine, close down, sorry, the Oracle virtual box manager, I beg your pardon. The computer is not running. So forgive that slip up. So close it, and then I can simply copy the main folder containing the virtual machine image. So I'm going to press Control C to copy, and imagine the C temp folder is my USB key, just for simplicity, just imagine, and I'm going to paste it there. So it's copying over, let's grade this quite quick. Okay, I now have the image, I haven't created a portable OVA file, I've actually copied the actual files themselves that make up the virtual guest machine. So going back, um, now I'm going to start, actually let's do it cleanly, I'm going to open up um, Oracle VirtualBox, ignore that for the moment, and there it is. So imagine now, I want this to simulate a third party machine that I haven't been on before. So I'm going to choose to remove, obviously this is, a, this is my own machine, it's not a third party machine. So to simulate a third party machine, I want to completely delete my existing installation. So delete all files, not remove only, delete all files. So it's completely deleted the virtual machine from my hard drive. And to be precise, what do I mean by that? It's actually deleted from the, the D virtual box VM folder. So it's not there. So imagine, as I said, my C temp folder is my USB key and I wish to import it or the proper term is add this virtual machine directly. What I can do is 
from the Oracle VirtualBox Manager, I can simply select Machine, select Add, and then navigate to my USB key, or in this case, my CTEMP folder, and select the Ubuntu folder, click Open, and then I have to actually select the ubuntu.vbox file or the vbox file associated with my virtual um, guest machine and then select open and bingo there it is it took less than one second and I can now run the virtual machine and just be aware it will run the virtual machine from the c10 folder or in your case from your USB drive so our USB key now, if your USB key is slow, it will be slow. So it pays to have a fast USB drive or a fast USB key. So just to click settings there, um, and general, and sorry, it's the full, this is where the location of this particular virtual machine is now. Exactly the equivalent of my USB key. So this is important. It's really handy. As you saw, it only took one second effectively to add or import, even though technically it's not an import, it's a machine add. But the beauty is, instead of waiting 20 minutes, it just takes one second. So the only important thing for you is that it pays to have a fast USB external drive or a fast USB key, minimum of USB 3, and in particular, a fast USB 3. This is fantastic for students who are working on projects at home and need to bring their projects into work to demo or into college to demo their projects. And rather than bringing it to the demo computer in, in a lab and then waiting 20 minutes for it to import, you can simply select machine, add, navigate to your USB key and boom, you're ready to go within, within a few seconds. Okay, that's all I wish to show you. Thank you very much. I hope you like this video.